This video is going to help you run a multi-regression analysis in Excel. Imagine you have data where you have flow rate, area, and slope for different watersheds and you want to create a regression equation. In hydrology, your first step is to take a log transformation, in this case a natural log transformation of each of your data sets. So we're going to do a natural log transformation of each of the data sets equals the natural log of there. So once we've done that, we can stretch it and we can complete that. So now we've log transformed the data set. Next, you're going to go to File, Options, and under Add-ins, you're going to make sure that you have a Analysis Tool Pack clicked into your add-ins, Excel add-ins, okay? So it might be down here in this area, and if it is, you need to click it so it can become active. Hit OK. Now, when you go under the Data tab, at the very end, you'll see Data Analysis. Select it. We want to perform a regression analysis. There's many different types of analysis. We want to do a regression. So select Regression. Hit OK. Select your Y data set. In this case, our Y data set is the natural log of Q. Our X data set is the natural log of A and the natural log of S. We have labels because we're choosing, call, we're choosing row 2, so we're going to select labels. And we want our output to be placed in column F12. You can have it give you other information, but in this case, this is all we need. And we hit OK we are given our outputs. I'm going to just move this over here so that we can um, kind of just expand things so we know what everything is in our data set. This is the important part of our data set so we can understand what this data states. And what it's telling you is that the natural log of Q is equal to 1.34 plus 3.698 the natural log of A plus 0 0.109 the natural log of S. So if we take the, if we convert this, we can say that the exponential of 1.34 is equal to this. So Q is equal to 3.82 times a raised to the 3.819 power plus s oh, times 3.95 power times s raised to the 0 0.109 power. This will give you a multi-regression equation for flow rate. Now you can calculate the flow rate for another watershed within the region based on this equation. 